Hello, this is Sheila Weber, and I'm going to be giving you a short video um, showing some key features of searching Emerald Insight Advanced Search. So, if I go to the links to databases and search engines in the mole page for the Research Methods class, it'll click through to the Advanced Search page. Now, Emerald has a, a database of articles published in journals which they themselves produce and they're particularly strong in the areas of information management, marketing and libraries um, and so there's a number of different areas that you will be investigating for your dissertations where you might find it useful to have a look at Emerald. So you'll see here you can enter your search terms and I'm going to start by searching for the word students and the word phrase social media, which I'll put in quotes, which works in many of these databases if you want to search the two words together as a phrase. Now, um, up here, it knows that I'm from the University of Sheffield. And so check with many of these databases, you need to check that it realizes you're coming from the University of Sheffield, otherwise it won't give you the information for free. If you click only content I have access to, then when you get the results list, it'll just show you the items that you can get the full text from, um, which is beginning to be very useful to you. So um, another thing you can do at this stage is restrict by date, but you can also do that after you've searched, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. So click search. And here's the results list. At the moment it's showing you the ones it thinks are most relevant first. It's found 3,584 items. You can also show the most recent first. So I'm going to just scroll down here. You'll see it's highlighted where it's found the, the words. That down here it's found social media and study. And one thing is if you put in individual words, and if I scroll down, you'll see here, it's presenting me here with what I've searched for. If you just put the word like that, then it will search for anything, it will truncate it, it will find anything, in this case, beginning with S-T-U-D, student and students, which is useful, but also study, which is not so useful. To find the exact word, then you put quote marks around individual words as well. Now, as well as doing that, I'm going to try and make um, sure that the items are more likely to be relevant by saying that the words need to occur in the abstract. That's the summary of the article. And I'm going to say that for both of the words. And now I'm going to click to search again. So you see it's um, up here. It's, it's told me what I'm searched for. I've now got 115 items and looking through some of the titles, engaging alumni and prospective students through social media, teaching social media skills to journalism students. The first ones that have come up are from 2011. I might decide that I want to concentrate on more recent ones. Now, if you look at this sidebar down here, you can see that you can restrict it further. You can restrict it to the last year, and it will just give you um, the 14 uh, items from the last year. I'll click on that. And this can be very useful if, for example, your supervisor says you need to find some more recent articles in the particular area. Um, so when you're beginning, you probably want to search a bit further back, um, but uh, particularly when you're trying to fill in gaps and bring things up to date, then this can be a useful feature. So just to look at the other features here, if you want to learn a little bit more about how um, whether this is going to be relevant, um, investigation of Facebook boredom phenomenon about amongst colleague students, you think perhaps that's relevant to my dissertation. Before you look at the complete article, the PDF, you can see a preview which basically gives you the um, our abstract and it could be useful to look at that before downloading the whole thing. 
If you do decide that you want to look at it, then you can click on the title like that. And it presents you with the abstract and in fact the complete article. Down here, it's the list of articles that are listed in and referenced in that article. So sometimes you can click through um, uh, if you want to f read it online, you'll be able to jump down and then actually find any item that's been cited by this particular item. If you decide you want to download it, obviously you can click on PDF. So that was just giving you a brief idea of how you might be searching on Emerald.